Hello everyone and welcome back to Studies by Steven. You're talking to Steven, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on a video. Last time we were here in the city, we built up some regional infrastructure. We built a bridge, we built a tunnel. We started planning out some uh, new road networks out in a whole area that we've yet to build on. Uh, that is the Hanover Heights and Waltham area. And uh, you know, I'm really excited today to bring you some new content from the financial uh, expansion financial district mini dlc or however they're referring it to so uh you know i'm going to, going to assume that you've already seen some of the bigger channels um go over all, every single little teeny detail um all every single office building that's new and everything like that that's not what this video is going to be this video is going to be implementing it in it, implementing the new dlc into a current city and uh, we'll definitely go over how to progress through it but if you want to see every single office building in this DLC, this is not the video, unfortunately. Um, but we will be building with all of the new content. So let's do that today. So here we are in the downtown core of the city. I've already planned out uh, an area. Now, if you have watched previous episodes on this channel, we've talked about this DLC for a little while. Uh, I've been saving this spot for it uh, right in here. We also have a spot right in here that might get used up. And then we also have this spot up here by midtown which might get used up as well uh, with like a secondary kind of aspect so um let's kind of dive in and what do you need first well go to the police and banks tab now because yes the police department tab got updated to have banks as well and oh no we can't we need to place a stock exchange in first so that's in unique buildings it has its own tab and here it is so i have not tried this out yet but i really re i would really like it if we could fit the stock exchange right here facing our Christmas market, but we have a secondary location for it should it not work out. So I'm just gonna turn on Anarchy and let's see if we can get it to work. Yeah, you know what? I was worried that the uh, asset was gonna be a little too big, but it seems like it's all a-okay. It's on this hill and I really like its backdrop with the church and everything like that as well. I like the fact that it's overlooking this plaza um, but uh, let's let's see what the other one what it would have looked like if we moved it to, to the other side because well this is nice and all I know it's gonna grow in size and maybe it needs to be in a different location so it was actually gonna be in this zone here so let's just grab it relocate it and see if we can get it to fit right in here And yeah, I think it looks a little bit nicer here. It's also kind of centered with City Hall. I think this was the better choice. Um, so let's just try and center it on City Hall here. Let's see if we can align City Hall with this and this item here. It looks like this is actually slightly off. All right, so we have our stock exchange and that is fantastic. It looks real cool. Uh, I think we should probably level out the streets to um, the building height that's around it. Um, all of the buildings can kind of conform to this, but this is a pretty primary building for our sake. So we will um, center everything off of this. And then we get to see all the cool details of this asset, like the flowers and whatnot, which are pretty cool. Um, so, now that we got that in place, what can we do? We can now do some investments, of course. Um, so let's look at our investments that we can make. So first of all, do not take any investment advice from someone on the internet, uh, especially not from me. Um, so uh, let's see what we can invest in. Let's buy low, sell high. Greasy gasoline, you know, it's on the up and up. It doesn't seem like... Uh, it usually goes much higher than that, so we're not gonna buy greased gasoline, but oh, look at the forestry. You know, it's going up a little bit right now. Um, I like Dunn. We can invest in Dunn, but uh, look at that. It's, it's not really doing too well. The farming industry, oh, you know, Fort Perry's really good for farming, so that's pretty good. Death Care Service Fund, that's kind of dark. Uh, generic industry, okay, definitely don't invest in that. Uh, Health Care Service Fund, okay, well, you know, lots of pension plans in, in uh, Canada invest in uh, healthcare and whatnot. So, um, you know, 
horror industry. Uh, I like the horror industry. It had a major dip recently, but looks like it's on the up and up. So let's buy really quickly here. Let's just buy like uh, that many shares. Why not? And let's see. Uh, let's see how the ore does. Traffic jelly. <laughs> okay. Uh, looks like it's rebounded already, so we won't buy that one. Uh, this one's going down, so I, you know, I definitely see this one going up again. Though it's pretty soon. The very legit company. Let's buy into the very legit company, but I don't trust it too much. Let's only buy that about that much. Uh, we don't have the oil industry unlocked. We definitely need to push for that because. Um, we're in Alberta. We need to invest in oil if we're making this realistic, and we'll just live. We'll, you know, we'll just live and die by the oil industry. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this! We've gained thirteen thousand in uh, from the ore industry. That's pretty cool. And you know, we lost some money from the very legit company, but hey, look at that! We made some. So we got to make fifty grand off of this. So I say we just try and invest in some other ones. So if we go back up to the death care service fund, you know, this one's down low but looks like it's due to to buy to bounce back up so let's uh let's buy a bit into this as well you know we have the cash we're good look at that we're making some profits now i already made 10 10k on the death care service fund uh the farming industry you know ooh, it doesn't look like uh marmon is doing too well to be honest has it's been pretty low for quite a while and same with the forestry industry. Greasy gasoline. It's up slightly, but uh, holy cow, look at, look at how that goes. All right, so generic industry. Yeah, we're not even going to touch that, are we? All right, so, oh, I was just about to sell the ore industry, and then we lost part of our profits. So we're going to wait on that. And oh, we're losing some of our options here. I definitely just need to get to 50, so I'm just gonna hope that uh, we get there. So we'll just uh, let the sim kind of go through while we get to $50,000. You know what? We might buy some greasy gasoline. All right, so we made $50,000 with investments, got a bit of a tax bonus, and then we're going to upgrade our stock exchange to the next level. And today we leveled it up to level two, and we got one of the coolest assets ever implemented into City Skylines is the bank. Uh, I have been screaming internally for banks to be added into this game uh, for so long because you know how I love to do my small town builds. What small town is, is not complete without the small bank in the town? So, yeah, I'm really excited for the small banks. <laughs> um, and we just got to, uh, you know, continue to make some money in some of these inv investments. So let me just, uh, you know, create a small portfolio and then we will dive into some building. All right. So while we wait for uh, our money to recuperate from our... <laughs> for investments. Uh, let's take a look at this level two building. And I really like this level two building. I almost wish that we didn't have to level these up anymore because this is, a, I think is a good size. And hey, maybe we do leave it at this uh, for the city, but um, it's pretty cool. I, I rather enjoy the size of this building. The, the, the coins on it are pretty funny, but uh, I think we can live with it. Maybe they chose a an artist or a, an, uh, an architect to design the building who had a, you know, a love for money. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, so, uh, Financial District DLC. It also comes with some office specialization. So, I've actually created this little district in here. And I've added in some items here. So, we got recycling. We got um, parks and recreation. We have tax raise for high density residential because the land value is just crazy over here. Tax raise for offices as well. Uh, as always, with Canadian themed cities, recreational use, but encourage biking as well because we have a bike lane going right down the middle of this area on Salmon Street. So um, we're going to we're going to create a bit of a, a mixed zoning with uh, residential and um, office, but uh, we're going to create some specializations in here. So we need to go into offices and we need to select financial office buildings for this one. But I also want to have Green Cities DLC residential in here. Uh, so let's start with the residential because we have so much demand for it. 
And uh, I think we could probably just get a few condos along in here. I don't mind getting condos on this road. Um, maybe not right in here. Right there is fine. We can get uh, a bit right in here as well. Why don't we do this? And then we can sneak in a path. Oh, no, we already have a path right here, so we're probably fine. Uh, and then we can probably get another condo here. We can try to fill the, the gap between the two with the building there. How about like that? And then we go a bit farther, maybe. All right. So now we can start, well, that kind of zones up. We can start thinking about some offices. I definitely want offices along this street here, along Macintosh and Empire. So let's get some office zoned up in here. So let's just start off with the four by four system. See what those pop up right in here. And then we can adjust accordingly. Uh, right over here we have some two by or three by two option which is pretty uh pretty cool so we'll see what pops up there and um you know we don't have a ton of demand for offices and maybe in order to get some of that demand what we do is we remove the tax raise uh for offices hopefully that will help us uh, sp spur some investment let's check on our investments while we're at it they were losing money like crazy. Oh, let's sell that. We can sell sell this too. But oh, we're still losing some cash on some other ones. So, uh, ooh, you know what? Maybe some greasy gasoline. It seems to be stagnating pretty good. Let's uh, see if we can buy a little bit into that. All right, so we got some residential going in here. That's pretty good. Don't mind those buildings. Um, but then over here, this is where we get the real good stuff. So this building is one of my favorite in the entire game. Look at that. It's also on a corner. It faces and opens up kind of to the street. This is a historical building if I've ever seen one. Uh, this one is over here is pretty cool too. It, it looks, whoa, can we, can, we, can we look at this? Whoa, sorry for the sickness. Whoa, holy cow. Motion sickness there. Um, this one's pretty cool too. It looks like there could be like apartments. Or maybe it's like some old office buildings. I really like this uh, location for this asset actually. Um, so why don't we make this one historical as well? And hey, look at this. We got another one popping in here. Now we don't have a ton of uh, office demand. So why don't we think about continuing to zone residential? And let's look at this zone in here. It's close to this metro. It's also close to this older area. Also close to some bikes. Yeah, so I don't want it directly on Empire Street. I think that would be, uh, you know, not the best idea in the world. Uh, but why don't we um, think about getting a connection of some some sort from Empire up into Salmon, and then we can think about building some offices or some better um, pedestrian connections as well. Uh, so why don't we go with a nice tree-lined road? Because who doesn't like a nice tree-lined road in the city? And uh, we'll go with uh, this one right here. And we'll go off of, I was thinking going off of this road, but why don't we go off of this path uh, for this? So right about there is fine with me. All right, so we're getting some residential in here now. And hey, look at this, we're getting some more office buildings. We even got the upgraded bank over here and you know I kind of like these uh, this building over here by this plaza it's got some flags this building has some flags and it's showing some improvements to an older building so maybe these buildings were once one and then they had to redo this section in between the two and then they added on this building on top I think it's pretty neat um, definitely I don't think I would do a whole downtown of this area but having it as kind of like um, uh, a few buildings in a whole zone could be pretty cool. So I think that's all the offices that we zoned in already. And oh, this one's growing. Uh, but let's get some offices down in here and we'll use a uh, three deep on this side. And we'll see what happens with the building if we throw it in right in there. Let's see what, let's see what kind of pops up because I think that could be cool or it could be just uh, something that we immediately delete. So we'll wait for that one. Um, and we definitely have 
we definitely have just an incredible amount of residential demand and um, I think maybe we can start seeing some redevelopment of uh, Fort Prairie, especially around um, this area here and the station. So let's try and incorporate this with our redevelopment program in this district and we're going to take over part of historic Fort, uh, histo yeah, yes, historic Fort Prairie and we'll just take over that block there and um, we'll turn it into condos, something that is a very common thing in cities nowadays. Maybe these buildings weren't entirely historical or something like that, but then we're looking at this building or this block over here and um, what do we got going on? Yeah, we got some light commercial and some residential. Let's change the residential out. Yeah, but we'll leave the commercial. How about that? Okay, very nice. Definitely going to wait and see what pops up here. And let's make sure that this is in our, our redevelopment program. All right, so while we're looking at some things, we got some offices built up in here. And I like these kind of buildings along Main Street. This is fantastic. Uh, I'm sorry, Empire Street. We got one popping in right here. That's a pretty cool office building. I do say so myself. So we will uh, leave Solutions Inc. alone over here. Looks like another building is popping up in between. And we're still waiting on this one for some shenanigans. We'll see what pops up. But oh, it looks like there's some issues over here. So why don't we say, hey, time for some redevelopment. All right, let's check out some investments. Oh, holy cow. Pause the game because I don't want to miss on this. I've already missed uh, like seeing that we have a ton of uh, gain. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to go sell it. And then by the time I get to actually click sell, it changes. So glad that we got this one in time. Traffic logistics, 27,000. Yeah, we can sell that. And we're still waiting for some of our investments to turn around. Um, let's uh, let's see what uh, how we're doing in the stock exchange here. So we're getting there uh, to level two. So let's um, buy a bit more. Definitely not that one. Um, so I'm seeing that this one is going down a little bit and we're already at a peak. Whoa, okay, well now might be the time to buy. So let's buy into the farming industry. How am I choosing those numbers? Well, I'm just kind of eyeballing what we have here. I definitely don't want to get the city's budget below 3 million. Um, so if anything is like around there, then I'm definitely not gonna buy it and we'll just wait already made a good profit on the farming industry but I think we can go a bit higher so it just dipped that's okay generic industry it looks like we've probably bought a little high on that one um, so hopefully we can make that cash back eventually and then the healthcare service fund uh, yeah we looks like we bought when it was a bit more of a peak uh, so hopefully it starts jumping back up soon looks like it is um, the ore industry is doing pretty good same with that one. We're good there. The very legit company. Oh, you know what? Now might be the time to buy into the very legit company. Let's buy all the shares in very legit company because it looks like the only way forward is up on that one. And we also have, a, I want to get this one going as well, but I don't want to take away any industry demand. So um, that's going to be a bit of an issue. We don't have that many more squares to zone, but don't want to take away from the industry demand uh, today. Let's sell this one. 41,000 is pretty good. And let's check. Yeah, we, we could have waited a little bit further. Oh, look, it just dropped. So good sale there. Did that get us to our next target? I forget what the dollar was. Oh my gosh. So we only need like less than 3,000 profit. So we'll just wait for one of these ones to, you know, get to $3,000 profit and then we'll sell. Hey, it didn't take long at all. Very legit company. Sold that at seven grand profit. And there we go, let's upgrade. Large bank and elevated plaza. Large bank, um, you know, I think that can play into some pretty good medium density builds. Elevated plaza is something that is pretty cool as well. So, you know, tons more uh, to invest into. We can now invest into crypto. Uh, <laughs> risky at the moment. Uh, gasoline, uh, the, that's a bit too high for my liking. Same with ore, traffic jelly. Uh, it's a bit too high still. Very legit companies, just a little, a little tough to deal with. Um, let's sell generic industry at a very minimal profit, but 
that's all good. And healthcare service funds on the up and up again, so that's good to see. Let's find some uh, nice low balls uh, that we can uh, buy into. All right, so uh, now that we've kind of got some things going, let's look at some of the items that we've unlocked. So we unlocked the bronze cow symbolizing prosperity and we got the panda. Um, pandas might not have any effect on the stock market, but they still look pretty. Uh, but yeah, this is the thing like the bull market. Is that what what, it, what it's called? I don't know. Don't take investment advice from me. Uh, let's um, let's place some of these guys down. So we could place them close to the stock exchange, which would make sense. Uh, holy cow, this building is massive, isn't it? Uh, but why don't we place these guys right in here? It's always funny. Plus, it uses up this space, too. Alright, something simple like that, we incorporate the two uh, new statue assets. Um, so, what else is there? Well, we got the elevated plaza. Now, this is a pretty big building, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and I don't think it'll kind of play into this zone here. But I, when I saw this building, I kind of saw this building as playing into kind of like a hill. Like that. With some offices right along this side here. So we'll see what it looks like with the office buildings kind of around it, but that's how I kind of saw it with um, some of the buildings kind of attached to it, kind of. Um, plus having this icon right over top of the plaza is uh, never a bad thing. Um, how, how did this look? Looks like we still have a bit of a weird zone here. Looks like nothing can pop in there. Okay, well, that's okay. I'll just uh, fill it up with some concrete so it doesn't look too weird. Um, yeah, I think those condos can definitely grow, which is a good thing. And we got a nice big commercial building there. I like this building. I think that's a good transitional building from this one. Um, all right, let's see what happened with the office buildings over here. So yeah, some of them got a little too tall. Uh, this one I like. It's the, kind of the mirrored one to this one though. So I think I prefer this. I think we can probably chance it for a better building here. And I don't like the size of this one and this one. Which, you know, so from what I gather, that's the challenge with these buildings for a realistic city is the height of them are pretty crazy. Like, look at this building. That's a little too tall for my liking. So we'll delete that one and this one. And we can kind of see what else is happening. So the reason why I haven't done anything else over here is because I wanted to see uh, if we could maybe squeeze some residential down into here. But I definitely don't think we're going to get residential along Empire Street here. Um, glad we got another connection point right in here. Uh, but uh, you know what? This one probably could be biking. Coming to think of it instead of trees. This road. And then what we can do is we can upgrade this path to be a biking path. And then this takes us right to this bus stop and the metro which works out pretty great, doesn't it? Uh, let's see, maybe we just clean this area up. And it looks like we have some issue with the vanilla zoning. Through here, yeah, it looks like it. So why don't we try to extend a different district into here, into this block. So we'll take our financial districts DLC stuff and we'll just redo this. All right, looks like people are actually using it to bike too, which is nice. Did we get a new building here? It looks like we did. And yeah, I don't mind this one. Again, it looks like a redevelopment area, which is exactly what we're going for. So that's cool with me. And then let's just clean this area up with some concrete because it just makes sense to me that this would be concrete along the sidewalk, just, you know, like an extended sidewalk. If you haven't caught on, concrete and Canadian cities go hand in hand. All right, so we're just waiting for that office building over there. That's okay. 
Um, and we have a, just a, a ton of residential demand again. So I'll have to watch out for that one. But I don't think this corner building kind of works here. It's not really that kind of street. Um, so we can delete it and see what's what else is going to appear. I was hoping for another building here as well, like a different kind that would connect to that one. So we'll wait on that, but let's see what else we've unlocked here. Or have we already dealt with everything? Yeah, so we're just waiting for the Underground Garden Plaza and then the Level 5, the International Trade Building. So uh, let's see if we can make some better investments. All right, so while we're waiting for that, let's actually look into the banking, the banks again. So a large bank uh, with three variations um, uh, for the financial needs of commercial area comes with a medium fleet of cash transport vehicles that reduce crime rate in commercial zone buildings. So we can definitely fit the large, uh, yeah, the large bank in here. And maybe this is the building that we want to place right up against it. Uh, maybe, or maybe not, I think it's a little too big. Maybe this is a building that can fit well, beside this plaza, that could be cool, but maybe we go with the bank right in kind of this main block here, kind of eyeing down the market. I think that looks nice right there. And um, let's choose the variation because that's something we can do now, right? So we got this one, we got the domed one, we got the spiky one. I think the spiky one is probably the most realistic for this building. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I feel like this is like an early 2000s, 90s kind of style, and I think that plays pretty well with here, uh, with this. So they'll send out cash vans like this guy here, and they'll go collect cash. Probably should have done this a little bit earlier into the episode, but that's okay. Uh, and then we're just going to fill this whole block up with uh, office zoning, because I think that would probably be the way to go. Uh, though, we're on the back here. We might need to detail this block up. Yeah, let's do something like this. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind if this is uh, office buildings as long as we keep this um, one space between here so we can see that, you know, garbage trucks or something, they can uh, squeeze through the side here. So if we look really closely, there's a gate right there on the building. So garbage trucks would need to swing by on the side here. Yeah, cool building. Um, I think we can do a little bit better than that one though I do like actually you know what I do like this building because it shows that it's like an again an addition onto an older building and we are in historic Fort Prairie so let's keep that one around we'll see what else pops up over time but I think we're due for some more redevelopment before we dive back into the banks a little bit um, so let's see um, I think maybe with this commercial zone through here we might need to might want to think about upgrading it down the line we are close to a metro it would be tough to develop that area um whoa auto save there we go so why don't we think about perhaps we already have some high density over here why don't we rezone this into high density because we definitely need the jobs and the people to move in so while we're kind of talking about people and jobs moving in um the uh, next episode is um, has actually already been recorded. Uh, you know, I kind of forgot that this whole DLC content stuff was coming out this week. So I uh, had previously planned to do this whole video out in the Waltham Hanover Heights area, but it doesn't always uh, work out when a new DLC comes into play, right? So um, we'll be kind of doing a little bit out there tomorrow. Uh, and the whole point of that build was so that we could try and whittle down the residential demand that we had uh, but it doesn't seem to really have worked out that well well also because it's a low density residential build a little tougher to do with uh, low density residential so this is the kind of building i was actually kind of hoping for something that kind of surrounds the plaza here and will kind of show that um uh you know maybe there's like a, a connection from this elevated plaza or the underground section of it that connect into these offices uh, because I mean it kind of looks like there could be we're never gonna make money on the healthcare fund I'm just gonna wait till it jumps back up to 
so we don't lose a ton. That was a poor investment. Great sale, 100,000 on ore. Looks like ore is the one that's really making us the most money here. Oh, gasoline, let's sell, pause the game. Oh, holy cow. Uh, generic industry, it's going down again. Very legit company. I think I'm just gonna hold on the very legit company. Let's see uh, how much more we need to, to make. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, so let's talk about banks. Because we only really talked about one. Uh, so the small bank, the small bank is absolutely fantastic. First of all, it only costs $192 a week to upkeep. So when you get your cities going, get the stock exchange in and start getting these small banks because let's take a look at them. Let's go out to Walsenburg and let's go out to old Walsenburg because this is kind of like a classic small town, a classic cities by Stephen small town build, right? So let's try to find a nice slot for it along the main street here. Um, this is a pretty big building. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's go right in this zone here. Yeah. So let's delete this building because it's already too massive anyways. This one's a historical building, but that's okay. Um, so let's plop it down. All right. So let's take a look at this building. Holy cow. What a fantastic building. So it looks like an old bank duh but it also has this modern extension on it which is kind of the theme that they've been going for and i really like that idea but look how well it fits onto this main street it fits so well even though this main street's kind of grown up with some abandoned buildings and stuff uh from its main kind of core but like that that looks fantastic um why don't we go to like a, a good old classic small town build over in this area here so this classic small farming town vibe that I love to do you know it's got the sauna it's got the post office somewhere oh my gosh does this not have a post office holy cow how did we forget that uh, but it's got you know the legion and whatnot um, oh you know what let's go to Dunn actually I think Dunn is probably the best example for this um, yeah okay here we are this is the main street of Dunn we got the church. We got the old schoolhouse, which is the Dunn Town Hall. We got the Dunn Legion. We got the post office. Um, we got the old bookstore. But let's go right beside the post office. We have some parking right here, which we can remove. And let's add in this bank because holy cow, this bank is so cool. So this is going to take up some more space than we previously had slotted for this area, but that's okay. We'll plop it in and we'll just adjust it as necessary. So we have some trees in the building. Let's remove those trees. All right, look at that. So we got the post office right beside the bank. Um, yes, please. Look at that. That's fantastic. We got the old style buildings all around a main street. Uh, absolutely fantastic looking build. If I do say so myself, we got this whole Main Street vibe right here. It looks so cool with the bank um, fitting in with the post office. You, you know, we need more small town assets and this one fits in pretty well. Um, so I think we can place uh, these small banks in multiple locations. So let's, um, I don't think New Bulls Corners is the right one for that, but Brownsville deserves a bank, right? Let's get a bank in Brownsville. Why don't we slot this one right in here instead of removing some commercial uh, let's remove some residential, uh, but this is kind of like still the main street kind of area, right? But you know, this one actually does make a bit more sense over here to plop down. Although this is a good slot for a bank, but that's too hilly. Uh, this is going to disrupt too much. So yeah, let's plop this one down right here. Yeah. Love the look of the new bank asset. Very pleased with it. That's for sure. Okay. So that's um that's brownsville crossing covered let's get one into fort prairie if not two we'll just do one um and here's the post office and look at this look at this slot right here oh i think it's a bit too big if we turn off anarchy we can kind of tell yeah it's one slot too big so not there unfortunately but why don't we put it on the other side oh it's still too big yeah right here on mayberry street I wonder what uh, 
the last uh, I wonder what the last time we actually built out here was it was probably like episode like 20 maybe when we redid some heights in this area maybe 30 ish getting some more residential on here is always nice as well um, okay so that's one bank over here I think we need a bank in Greenberg let's get a bank over in this zone There we go. Greenberg's got a bank now, again, beside the post office, too. Uh, all right, so have we covered most of the bases? Uh, Ortonville. Okay, let's get one out in Ortonville. That would be uh, nice to do. Let's check this out. Where would this one be? Let's get this one on the promenade. How about that? And the promenade's in Plaza's area. Right in here. Looks like it'll fit. Cannot be placed on this road. Does it not work with promenades and plazas? I guess not. At least at this moment. Maybe you have a mod conflict or something like that that's preventing that from happening. So let's slide this one in right in here then. Oh, sorry. Uh, I didn't have anarchy on. Can I plop it down now? No, it just can't be placed on this road. Okay. So let's get this one in right in here. Oh, I deleted a building that I know we previously planned a lot about, or planned a lot for. But uh, say la vie, say la vie. So there we go, bank in the this nice area, uh, fantastic. And then maybe one more bank around Midtown. Why don't we go with um, that uh, medium bank in Midtown? So this one only costs four eighty. Holy cow! Okay, so let's get the medium bank in Midtown, and we'll have this one. Um, Ooh, I guess it needs to be kind of in a planned area of the city because we can't just kind of slide it in willy-nilly, but maybe we can. Let, let's see what it looks like if we plop it down right here. All right, so what building variation are we going to go with? I'm going to do this one because it's the smallest. I think that makes sense for this zone. And there we have it. Okay. So very good indeed. I can't believe the residential demand. This is madness. Let's let's check out uh, the. Yeah, it's only at four percent. Um, okay, so it looks like we got some more offices over here. Again, these tall, spiky ones don't exactly do it for me. But let's get uh, some nice big condo towers in here, and then we'll talk about. Um, maybe getting some more nice big condo towers uh, right through here and then maybe even uh, right along here Just some nice good old-fashioned block zoning <laughs> and then we have a ton of commercial demand so let's try and sort that out by adding some commercial along this street here but I want to clear out this spot right there for a pedestrian path and we'll go with the bike path. All right, so how is this area looking? You know, I don't mind the small t the small towers over here because of what they are kind of doing. Although it's a, probably a little bit too tall. Yeah, it probably is just a little bit too tall. This one is okay to be the tallest, I think. Especially because it lines up perfectly. No, it doesn't. That's okay. I just got an achievement. I don't know if you can see that, but so much cash was the achievement. Uh, let's see uh, our investments here. Very legit company, 21,000. Let's sell that. Um, you know what? I think we, we got to sell this now at a 4, 4K loss. So let's sell it. Because I don't think we're going to get much higher than that. And generic industry, let's sell that one as well. All right, so we still got a ways to go with this, uh, and we still have a bunch of zone to do. Now, I do want to save some space here because we have the under, uh, underground garden plaza, and we also have the international trade building. So this one's probably going to go somewhere particular. This one, uh, I'm 
not exactly sure where it's going to go. So I want to say I wanted to save some space in here to kind of plop it down, but uh, maybe just right in here. I'm not sure how big it is though. Or maybe we can plop that down to midtown and we can just kind of look to actually build this area up because I do think it's important for us to get residential in here because this does kind of scream to me like a pretty nice place to live beside what is going to be a pretty major park. Um, so I'm sure that the condos, all the condo boards in the world would be screaming to get into here. Um, especially with this massive redevelopment project that we're kind of doing. Alright, so let's check out how this area is looking. So this is actually an office. Uh, I really like this building. So the Gold Woman Investments. Uh, definitely like that building a lot actually. Um, although it kind of looks a little bit silly, the transition. But having it kind of be so prominent is pretty cool. I'm sure that the views would be just absolute madness from here. Looking at, looking at the downtown core of the city. Like having the train station here really creates an elevation dip. That you can see right across into Fort Prairie, or sorry, Prairie Station in Midtown. But also for looking over here, looking at the river and stuff like that, and the bridges and the school, that's pretty pretty awesome. Then we have this nice big commercial building beside it, which I also enjoy. Um, so it looks like this building here has too high of taxes, which I get because the land value of this area isn't the best. So why don't we try and sneak this building into the next zone here and we'll remove it and then we'll change it away from being a residential building back into just being a simple little teeny commercial building. Uh, this one I'm not the biggest fan of, so we'll delete this building. All right, so now we're looking at this generic commercial zone through here. Now I don't think we need much more zoning along here because I would rather it not get too close to the roundabout uh, but I think maybe we can just get like a nice big condo tower here and then call it so by doing that what we can do is then uh, grab a path and we'll use a path uh, that has a nice solid foundation like this one uh, which means that we can use the surface painter to kind of demarcate what's going to be like a little park right here So surface painter, and it holds the line a little bit better with concrete. All right, just something simple like that that is a nice little feature for some folks. Um, yeah, okay, I'm definitely liking how this is kind of uh, working. So we're seeing some elevation changes upwards, 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 upwards. And I think that's kind of what we're going for. And then we do have the anomaly here. That's very realistic to see. But overall, I think the skyline is definitely kind of in an upwards direction from here. And uh, then if we're looking at the skyline from here, we remain at the same elevation up to here, minus um, you know some of the older areas. And then we have a dip, and then back up in the midtown area. So I definitely think that this is a success. Um, whoa, what is a vanilla European building doing over here? All right, so let's take a look at some of our investments. Oh, we don't have any. Okay, um, so I think what the plan is going to be, since we've looked at banks, um, we've looked at some of the office buildings, we just need to level it up. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a cut here until we get up to the next level. We've filled in all these gaps through this financial district area. I don't really see a, see a need for us to go into Midtown uh, today, except for maybe some residential, uh, which might be nice, but we've already got all the office buildings we need, so. I think we can probably leave kind of the um, the building for the rest of the day until we get to the next kind of slots of items. Um, so I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just uh, get us to level four, talk about it, do some detailing, get us to level five, add in the building, and then call it. So uh, it's going to be a little while for me, but for you guys, it'll just be a few minutes. So I'll see you after this cut. 
Okay, and we're back. So um, here we go. Upgrade to level four. There we go. So we got the underground garden plaza and the skyscraper bank. So fantastic. It looks like we're a bit laggy from all my amazing investments. And we need to get to 1.5 million. That'll be done in the next cut. Uh, but look at that. Pretty cool looking bank. Uh, pretty massive building, if I do say so myself. I'm hoping that some of these buildings get a little taller. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, the height of this building is a bit unrealistic for my liking. But uh, I think maybe with a bit of redevelopment and stuff like that, we can make it seem a little bit more realistic. So again, redevelopment perhaps of this zone into residential. And then we can incorporate that into um, the financial districts area. And hopefully that'll aid a little bit in some of the height challenges that we're facing. Uh, how about we look at this block, these two blocks right in here as well. So low density commercial. Well, you know what? That can change out a little bit into... Uh, why don't we get some condos in here? This is a police station, but it's right beside the state, uh, the metro. So that's pretty cool. And then why don't we get some high density... Yeah, you know what? Let's just do the whole thing high density commercial and our residential and then we'll do the same thing here. We we really need the people living in the downtown core. Nothing uh, makes a downtown core more vibrant than people living in it. That is for sure. Um, all right, so let's take a look at those new assets that we got. So we got the underground garden plaza. Now this is pretty big building, isn't it? I was hoping that it would work in Midtown but it doesn't seem to fit. Uh, holy cow. But uh, I think this could play cool with like a, a metro build. And I am planning on a metro coming out this way. So perhaps what we do is we plan to get this in around the metro build. Um, you know, roughly I'm thinking it might be over here on this side rather than this side of things. But I would think I'd prefer the plaza on this side. So let's just plop this down over here. And oh, that was on a hill. So, you know, probably not a good idea to have a sunken plaza on a hill. Um, makes for some awkward textures, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, you know what? I think with the look of this, we can definitely go over top of roads. Set it to the same height as this road. And it looks a little nicer, doesn't it? Especially if we are able to clean up the edges of the building with uh, concrete. And then maybe we can build up like a, uh, you know, a nice zone through here that could actually play up pretty nicely, but I'm not gonna do that today. We don't have time. This video is focused on the Financial Districts DLC. Um, so let's talk about the Financial Districts DLC a little bit more. You know, now that I've kind of played with this a little bit, uh, seen what it's like, um, definitely enjoy it. Uh, definitely enjoy the assets in particular. I know a lot of the realism builders um, have a bit of trouble with uh, this new DLC and justifying it. And I definitely see that. Um, you know, it, the buildings are a little tall for my liking. But I think all in all, it, it if you can really um, utilize your space in your downtown core properly and have multiple zones, uh, like we've kind of been able to do with like a midtown where you have some nice office mixtures, uh, you know, pedestrian plazas, offices, office zones. Right in here is a really good example where we have the mid-century mid or uh, modern city center beside the IT cluster. Uh, if you get like these mixing in together, I, I definitely think the financial districts play well with an IT cluster and then also uh, these ones as well. Um, you know, it doesn't scream to me like it's the worst thing in the world, but if you like mix in an IT cluster in this in the center at the highest points of your downtown core, I don't see a problem with this at all. I think it's actually really cool. It adds a lot of buildings. Um, is it is it worth the money? Uh, you know, if you have the money and you love this game, I mean, I I'm really I really enjoy it. I think it's a pretty neat 
uh, asset. It's not also a crazy amount of money. Um, I'm really curious to see what it's going to be like in a more modern, uh, sorry, in like a newer build. Um, I have a bunch of abandoned buildings over here. Oh, I added in a bunch of oil industry out over this way. Um, to try to get the, uh, the next level. Or, yeah, sorry, a, a new investment with the oil industry. Yeah, we're almost there. So hopefully we'll have a next, uh, next episode. Um, yeah, so what we're we talking about, we're talking about the, uh, the, uh, starting a new city with this, I think would be really interesting. I'm definitely curious to see what it's going to be like starting a new let's play series with this, because, you know, it takes some time. If we get, if we spend the money to actually build this, which how much does the stock exchange cost? 60,000. I mean, that's actually really doable pretty early on in the game. It doesn't cost a lot of upkeep. And I think it'd be a really good way to cheese some early cash extraction. Um, you know, get some uh, get some cash going pretty early. I think that could be could be pretty nice. Um, I mean, I I, uh, I definitely think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I also got the map pack. Um, I don't buy radio stations because I don't really listen to the radio stations. Uh, because you know, when I play the game, I'm talking through it. Um, but. Let's look at the skyscraper bank. They're just in here. Skyscraper bank. How tall is it? Oh, that's actually really manageable. I was thinking this was going to be like just the same size as the stock exchange, to be honest. Why don't we um, why don't we take out some of what we've done over here and add in the bank? This actually fits pretty nicely too. Okay, so I rotated it um, because of the height challenges here. And I think the height challenges look a little bit better on this street um, empire here than I did on the other one. Uh, it also lines up the building heights a little bit better. Um, plus, then we're on Salmon Street when you're riding your bike through here. It looks pretty cool. And then we can still squeeze in that bike path uh, down the middle here. But we're just going to go with... Whoa! Sorry about that. I'm just going to go with uh, the one without trees here because it's just going to be a little bit easier to do just like that and there we go so we still get all those options available to us including that cafe in there that'd be pretty nice i'm sure they sell some pretty good coffee some nice java in between some meetings it's always a good thing there we go and uh yeah so skyscraper bank pretty cool building i think you can you can use that once or twice in a city especially you know we have a downtown uh and then a midtown kind of thing that could work but I'm only going to use it once. Um, all right. So the last thing we need to do is international trade building. So we are going to, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll do some more investments and then I'll get us to level five and then we'll do a detailing time when we come back after we look at the last building. And look at that level four. We made it up all that cash. Uh, on top of that, I actually just repurposed um, this area over here for some temporary oil industry to get to the oil industry, or sorry, to get the oil industry uh, stock market option, and it worked. So we had that, and I was investing with it as well. Um, where is it? Ah, the oil industry has some dips and dives, and you know, as an Alberta theme city, I think we need to invest like all our money into this if we're being realistic. So, um, you know, the shares, uh, could be, do could be better. So let's, uh, let's, let's sim and let's buy oil when it's low and let them, you know, keep that, uh, in our pocket for a rainy day. Um, should we need it? All right. So we're going to invest, uh, just just north, uh, yeah, just north of 600,000. And we're gonna keep this for a rainy day should we need some quick cash. But here we go, upgrade to level four. Ta-da, we got the international trade building. That is fantastic, and level five. We have achieved level five, congratulations. Our total investment gains are a million and a half bucks, and we got a tax bonus of 6%. Um, look at that go. We have, um, it's pretty significant upkeep now. 
but it seems like if you spend five minutes pretty much you can definitely make the upkeep uh, worth it um, so let's exit out of here and let's look at the last building I don't think we need a detailing time lapse because I think we've kind of been doing it as we go but yeah really nice building um, definitely have a spot in mind for this and that is going to be over here by our bank uh, it looks like we can might we sorry it looks like we might be able to actually fit it in this zone right in here which would be really really cool if we could um, but if not we can always slide it right in here that's also a good spot for it um, in Midtown uh, I don't think we have a real good slot available in the downtown core for this you know what we do because um, definitely going to want to rethink uh, the vanilla styles through here with this high density residential didn't didn't think about that to be honest so let's place this guy right in here um, although having it kind of right here beside the old this old folks home I don't actually think this works so maybe we can think about moving it down into this slot here maybe uh, what's over here it looks like just some generic buildings beside the church yeah, that could add some height to this downtown core, but I would think uh, maybe we can try to get it towards the IT district here. But we already have a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, Midtown is just getting a little too tall, but maybe if we get it right over here beside where we're going to get that metro, that could be worth it, right? Um, I think maybe we could work this out. Let's see. Let's see. This is our original idea for this location, so. Let's see how it works. Alright, so I settled over here because I think this is bringing in some nice height over here. And uh, kind of funny that we're kind of blocking out the um, the observation tower now, which is kind of awkward though. It's pretty close <laughs> to the same height. Um, but I didn't really see another slot we had. I suppose we could move it down over here into this residential zone. Um, that could work as well. I might move this one around again. Okay, so I think this area is going to be the best bet for it. Um, we have some cool opportunities with it being right beside a metro stop, which was kind of like a big thing for me. Uh, we got a bus stop right out in front. Um, it has a nice view of the university as well, which maybe, you know, students co op in and stuff like that. Uh, but I think this can also spawn some redevelopment of this. Uh, area and I think it also brings just a bit of height difference out over here from congesting it all around the observation tower which was kind of awkward let's be real um, so let's uh, redo the zone so I know we had offices right here before but I think commercial works a little bit better right there or sorry residential and then we'll work in some offices right in here and then along this side uh, how about we do the whole thing since um, I think we had commercial there before but offices work just as good um, all right, folks. So I think that was a pretty fun episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on Friday for a little small suburban town build. Um, hope you enjoyed. That was uh, that was a lot, to be honest with you, for a uh, for build. Um, learning a lot about it, and I'm sure we can use some of these assets. Again, like the bank. I am so excited for the bank, folks. Uh, I love the bank asset. Um, so let's get a nice cool view for the screenshot. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.